Hey, welcome back to more training. So we've gone through all of the basics and now it's time to get in some more advanced tips. Let's jump right in. So jumping right into it, we're gonna first talk about how to add text that goes behind an object. In this case, we're going to add a title and we want it to go behind the World Trade Center here in this New York City skyline. So first thing we have is our clip down here at the bottom. And then we are going to just grab whatever title we want. I'm just going to bring in the default title here. You can stretch it to whatever length we want. Then double click it and change the title. Make it kind of New York-y. Make it nice and big. And we'll adjust it to fit in the space that we want. And now all you're going to do is bring in a second version of the same clip you have on the bottom here. So you can go up to your media, or I just have it, it already dragged right here. So I'm going to bring that on top, which obviously means we're not going to see the title anymore, but that's okay. So when we double click on the top layered clip, we will then go up here to mask. And depending on what shape you are trying to uh, you know, show your text behind, you can play with the different masks. In this case, the double line is going to be perfect. As soon as I select that, then we can see our double lines here and we can see part of the text starting to reveal itself. So all we need to do is grab the blue little bars here and we're going to adjust it to where it kind of comes to the edge of the World Trade Center building there. And if your building wasn't straight, you can always grab this little ball on the end here and uh, that's going to allow you to that's going to allow you to rotate it. And then the bar on the right here is your feathering. So you can see when I pull it out uh, just a little bit, you can see it's uh, a little feathered right there. But this is pretty hard line, so I'm not going to leave too much feathering room there. And we're just going to make this as perfect as we can. That's looking pretty good. And now when I uh, click back here, you can see that the text is now behind the object. And we can go back to our title here and make any adjustments we want. We can have it animate behind. Boom. How cool does that look? And that's how you mask things behind objects. The next tool we're going to look at is how to blur faces. So sometimes you get clips of people and they don't want their faces shown. And that's super easy inside of Filmora 11. All we're going to do is select our clip. And then we're going to actually just search for face off. And it should be the first option here. And so we're just going to drag the effect right on top of the clip. And we can see that it instantly blurs his face. You can actually go in and customize these too if you double click the clip. We go to effects, and you can see all these cute little different icons you could change. So of course the default is just kind of a pixelated traditional look, but if you want kind of a silly box. And the nice thing is that it is already tracked. So if I just go back and play it, you can see that even with camera movement, it tracks it to the face. And finally, let's talk about how we can add some little bit of pizzazz to default titles. So of course, if I just play this, it's a default title. It's not really doing anything special. We want to create a rolling effect. I'm going to show two ways to kind of do that, or at least two different effects that I really like. The first one is the various different directions of rolling, this down roll, and that's just going to create kind of a endlessly scrolling text that depending on how long or short your text is, the shorter the clip, the faster it's going to go. Of course, if it's a really elongated text, then it's going to go a lot slower. The other very popular version of this, I think, is the typewriter effect. And we can see it just kind of fades in, fades out. Again, similar if you have a really short clip, it's going to type faster. But let's say you have a really long title, but you don't want it to go this slow. You want it to go faster and then kind of hold before it starts fading in and out. You can go ahead and double click on it. And as long as you have your tools uh, selected over here, you can go under advanced. 
and that's going to bring up this window here where you'll see this little bar in this uh, mini timeline. This is kind of the in and out points for the effect. So if I grab the left hand side here and bring it much closer to the beginning, then we can see that the text is actually going to type very quick and then it's going to hold. And then you can do the same thing with the outro. You can make the outro really long if you wanted. Kind of slowly take away things. Or what I think a lot of people would do is kind of adjust both your in and out. So that way it types super quick, holds however long you want. And then once it gets to the end of the clip, it goes away uh, faster. So that's how you do various forms of rolling and typewriter type animation to text. If you're interested in learning more effects about Filmora, keep watching for our next video.